Like once in this video, let us talk about the third problem from the little bit problem traffic light. So let's start. So you give you actually find yourself on an unusual crossroad with a weird traffic light. So you have seen that there are weird traffic lights or like a traffic light when you cross a road. That's the whole problem. Now uh, there are three types of light which are possible on traffic light that is red, yellow, and green. Now uh, and they repeat itself after every n second. Okay, now what it actually means is that you are given a string that for the first n seconds, what is the pattern of traffic light uh, light occurrence? Okay, let's say it will occur first red, green, red, yellow. This is the first n, and then for after every n, it will repeat. So after every n. Now the whole problem statement starts from let's see, uh, let's see. you need to cross the road, and you can only be done on the green lights. Now you know which color or is on the traffic light at the portal. So let's say you are standing on that portal and you can see what is the current color on the traffic light is. But you do not know the current movement. Like what is the current time? Let's say you don't want wear a watch. You know that after this amount of time, the, the color, what will happen? You know the string, okay? You know that what is the current pattern that is going. You can see the color current sign, like what it, whether it is red, green, or but you do not know what is the current movement, like what is the current state at which the current like traffic light is because it is repeating every n seconds. So let's say we're given some string at the point. So you just have to find out the minimum number of amount of time in which you can guarantee that you will cross the road. Okay, and uh, that's it. That you have just okay. So I went first thought you how can I guarantee? It? I do not know. But you can just take this example and it will become. So let's say that you are given this string that is R G R Y. That these are reds. Now the current color you can see on the traffic light is red. So if it is red, obviously because you know this string, this is the. String. So let's take an example on the. Uh, R G. String is R. R Y. R G G Y and the current color is let's say. So if let's say you are standing on the like let's say on the crossroad, cross this part, and on this particular there is a sign traffic light. You can see like current color is let's say red on this part, right? And it goes in this pattern. Let's say red, green, red, uh, and then yellow. Now the thing is that you do not know that whether the red that you are seeing currently is this red or this red. Because you can only see the current red, but you don't know the what like what at what moment I am on. So this could be a this red also, this red. But you want to distinguish like what red is this. So in that scenario, what you will do is that if if this is this red, then the next green will happen after just one second. Okay, that's it. So if it if, if it is the first red, then the first green will happen after one second. But if this this is the this red, then it will happen after three seconds. Because it will first go to this yellow, and it will go again to this red. It will green. The answer will be ten. So there is one option. Like either it will come, the green will come after one second, or it will come after three. Seconds. So what is the so how much guarantee you can say that like at which point you can directly cross? You can cross at the maximum value at three. Why? Because let's assume that, or let's just take an example. Let's say you know that the answer is that either it will occur at two, occur at three. Eight, eight, nine. There are different red values, and after that, there are different green values after these seconds. Let's just assume. Now you do not know which red is it. So let's say if it is the first red, it will directly come after, like let's say if you do not know, okay, you're waiting for that. Okay, when you're waiting, the first red after one second it will come, but maybe it can also come after three seconds because you do not know the red position. But let's say if it comes after the first second, because you want to guarantee like at that particular moment it will hundred percent occur. Because at the the next second it might occur, it might not occur because maybe the red that was there was for the third point. Okay, then it was third point that is occurring, or maybe it was the eighth point. We do not know that directly, but let's say that if it was the first one, then this was hit, then it was gone. Then it was the third one, then then this was hit after three seconds. This was hit, it is, and after the eight second, this was hit after gone. Because now you are counting that obviously there are four reds because then I, then only I have these values. And also like all of them are hit because these are smaller values. So the maximum value is the one which are definitely low that will hit because there are only four values. 
few of them already hit because they are smaller. So the last one will obviously be the answer. In that scenario, whatever is the maximum among all of these answers is the answer because in that scenario, all the other ones have passed. And we and I've have passed, we have all only a fixed amount of time that I will get. If all of them are remaining are passed, I know that the next that's it. So you have to best maximize it over all of them. So how I can get this value? It's very simple now. You can just if you have the string like this, that's say R T G R Y. And if it just repeats, just uh just repeat this string one more time. Okay. It is again R T G. Okay, now you just iterate over the first half only, like this half only. And for every, let's say, whatever character you start on, let's say you start on R, you will just find out the next occurrence of G. Okay, you can directly do this in O of N. Okay, let's say for every R, you can just do a for loop. For every R, find out the next occurrence of G. Just in just uh, this particular first half only, because, okay, uh, then what will happen that for this first R, I will just get the first G at the at the one. Just iterate over the string. This is R, this is R, this is R. Okay, nice. Whenever I find the next R for this particular R, find out the next occurrence of G. Okay, let's say it, it occurs at let's say the position, and you just have to maximize it over all the values that you calculated out, and that's as you just told. And that's it. So that's it. Uh, let's print out the answer. And that's it. That's the overall logic uh, and the part. So actually, all. So what we have done is that we have the character, the total length of the string, the character from dot on. Then this is the string, this will repeat itself. So S, S, then this is the maximum value that I want to, and this is the count of the current count. Uh, that what is the current character and the next. So just iterate over the whole string. If I find out that the particular character I'm on is the character that I, that I started on, let's say CH, then I just my count equals zero and just do a while loop to the next G and keep on increment my I only. That is, so that is why it is only going in of N. Only. Then increment the count and increment the i. So when I find out the next g, if I find out the next g, I just check that the number of count or number of steps that I've got to go into the next g is the maximum among all the steps that I've seen. Maximum. If it is, then I just update the maximum value. Or else, if it's smaller, then we just don't update it. And now my i is updated, so I will just keep on doing this for loop again to get to the next starting character that I've seen, and then it for all the n values, and that's it. Then. That's your logic and the code part for this as well. I hope you understand this problem part of it as well. If you have any doubts, you can mention in the comment box of this. Part. I will see you in the next video.